Welcome to the Toffee Blues, your source for all things Everton, and welcome to your first Everton 24-7 report of the week. As always seems to be the case at the start of a new week, there is plenty of news and rumours coming out of the woodwork, but one tops the lot, and that is the announcement that has just come through in the past half an hour, that Fabian Delph is an Everton player. He has arrived from Manchester City and signed a three-year contract for around £8.5 he will now join up with the rest of the squad in Switzerland ahead of our friendly against Monaco on Friday. But there's plenty of opinions going to be dotted around. What do you think about Fabian Delph being an Everton player? Price tag, wages, what's he going to bring to the team? Let us know what you're thinking in the comments below and be sure to let us know. We'll continue on with the show with an interesting new name in our pursuit for a new striker. And in, by interesting, I mean hard to make sense of because that man is 33-year-old Mario Mandzukic. The Echo of today said that Marco Silva is a fan of Mandzukic, but has equally said that it may eat into the club's wage bill if we signed him. For that reason alone, I'd say this has to be one we should say no to. I'm pretty sure it goes against everything that Brands and Silva are trying to build. And yes, we've signed Fabian Delph, who's no spring chicken. But at 33 and on a mammoth wage, it's hard to see how Mandzukic is top of Silva's striking shortlist. A more believable target of Silva and Marcel Brands is, of course, Mandzukic's Juventus teammate, Moise Keane. Tuto Sport today believe that Everton plan to submit a £40 million bid for Keane. Now, that is a significant increase on the £27 million bid that was rejected last week. And there's a reason behind that. Everton believe that maybe paying more for Keane might convince Juventus to drop the rather insulting buyback clause that was sort of included in that first deal. I put many fans off last week when that rumour dropped. So the question is, if we were to get Keane at 40 million, would we be getting a good deal? Is he too inexperienced for that kind of fee? Or does he clearly possess the quality and potential to warrant that kind of transfer fee? Be sure to drop us a comment again on that and let us know what you make of that price tag. Now there's another 40 million price tag being thrown around and that's for Rafael Leal of Lille. The young Portuguese striker has been linked with Everton a lot in the past month or two. And now Lavoie du Nord reckon Everton have made their interest known to Lille, although no concrete offer has been submitted as of yet. We're apparently one of four clubs who are after him, but there are no other names dropped in that article. It's possible that one of those four clubs could have been Valencia, given they were linked beforehand, but now they have announced the signing of another ex-target of ours, Maxi Gomez. He became a Valencia player yesterday, so that might lead to them dropping their interest in Leal, and maybe that might help us to bring him in. On to outgoings now, and there is a confirmed departure today, and that is Anthony Robinson, who, as I suggested yesterday, has completed his return to Wigan Athletic on a permanent deal. So I think it's a good move all round. If you'd ask me, we've got some cash and Anthony Robinson gets to restart his career at championship level. So good luck to Robinson in Wigan. Now, we have had some potentially pleasing rumours coming out of 90min.com this morning. And that is that Steve Bruce, who is, of course, set to be named the new Newcastle manager, having left Sheffield Wednesday this morning. Steve Bruce is going to pursue two Everton outcasts as part of his Newcastle rebuild. Those two players are James McCarthy and Yannick Balassi the latter of which has apparently got a £10 million release clause in his contract as of this season. Now, of course, we'll probably end up selling both at a considerable loss now to what we paid for them, but at this stage, it may well be worth it to just cash in on both, get them off the wage bill, and move forward. And for that reason, this rumoured double swoop could be a big one as far as brands are super clear out goes. As the squad's really starting to pick, it's picking up pace, the squad's it's decreasing in size, and it's a far more acceptable squad size now. And on that note, because Everton have finally found their potential buyer for Henry Onyekuru, well, apparently Napoli are interested in buying him for £16 million, according to Belgian newspaper Le Soir. The Belgian media believe that the club we bought him from, KAS Eupen, will get a sell-on bonus if any deal goes through for Henry to leave Everton. I'm very much on the fence about that deal, given that I'd like to think we get a bit more for Onyekuru, given his potential, and the fact that he performed well last season. At Galatasaray, but it all comes down to how quickly Marcel Brands wants to recoup some cash, perhaps with potential signings of our, of our own in mind. So the question is, do we take the money and run, or do we wait for a better offer, or even still, do we wait it out on the off chance that he might get a work permit? 
be clutching at straws there, I think. But be sure to let us know your opinion on the on Yakuru front. Where do we go from here with him? And of course, let us know your opinions on all the topics of today, particularly the Fabian Delph signing announcement. So definitely drop us a comment below. And while you're at it, don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you again for watching on the Toffee Blues.